We are the Holy Crusader Order, actually, of uh, the Teutonic Order. Pretty sweet when you look at it. Uh, we have outgrown our capacity of a normal monastic order. And uh, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. We get extra missionary strength, a little bit of discipline, and army tradition from battles, bo both of which are, all three of them are pretty good. Uh, we can still do the same stuff we did before. And uh, we are stuck at kingdom rank instead of duchy. So very nice. We are currently in the process of beating the tar out of the Ruskies. And let's take a look at what missions we need in order to uh, end the schism here. So we need one of the following must be true. Moscow religion, Neva religion, Novgorod religion. And then 40 provinces. Oh, what? So it says one of the following must be true. All of the following must be true. Moscow, Neva, and Novgorod are all Catholic. So they are. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, the Catholic Church has healed the schism. Right, right, right. I'm being dumb. Okay, so now I need the 20 more provinces in the Russia region. Uh, okay. That, uh, those tooltips are kind of funky, man. Reestablish the kingdom of Jerusalem. Form the German nation. Okay. So, yes, that is what we need to do here. We need to take as many provinces as humanly possible in the Russia region, apparently. So, let's, uh, let's just do it. Let's just, uh, take as much as we can up here. This is all the Russia region, except for Cola, but... You know, we'll take that just on for border purposes. And uh, we'll just take as much as we possibly can. Though, to be fair, we probably should also make our way down here. Yeah, yeah. I think I would actually rather have a few more provinces down here. Oh, that's good. That's hot. Look at that. <laughs> cool. Now, I don't know. Those are not Russia. This is Ruthenia. But uh, we'll, we'll get it eventually. No big deal. Look at that. Teutonic Order. Looking very good. Good as ever. No admin mana, but uh, doesn't matter to me. Let's uh, make sure we are yoinking dev if we are able to. Nope. We're just going to deal with being overextended. It's fine. It's totally fine. Literally, if, in fact, I think it's great. I think it's great that we're doing this. Let's convert what we can. If we can't core it, we might as well convert it, right? So let's have you guys head up here. Have these guys suppress over here because Lord knows we're going to have rebels. It is what it is. They just need to submit to uh, the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and everything will be fine, right? Okay. Regrettable, of course. Let's have you guys head over here and uh, handle these rebels. Danzig! No! My devastation, or my prosperity, rather. It's fine. This is all part of God's plan, right? All right. So, let's have you guys suppress over there and have you guys suppress over here. Just like that, we are good. Obviously, we want to continue converting stuff. I could probably go Defender of the Faith at this point. I'm not really too worried about it. I just don't really want to, to be honest. But we've got another mission done. Where is this at? Found churches. Right. Pope Mana. I love Pope Mana. Clergy loyalty. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. So we just need to handle these rebels. We can yoink this, which is going to put us up over the 80 range, which will give us way more, which is great. Let's go ahead and click that, that button there, and uh, that will give us Diplo Annex cost, which is nice because... Uh, you know, clearly we're spending lots of that on annexing our subject here. All right, we're going to handle our rebels. And um, truce with these guys is going to be up. It is already up. Perfect. So we can attack Lithuania very soon. And I will, of course. Just going to have to handle these rebels. It is what it is. Let's uh, make sure we are getting our overextension down. Sooner rather than later would be better, right? Interesting fact. If you don't click this, it uh, won't clear. So it won't happen again, rather. Banish the nonconformist, apparently. Got some rebels popping. It is what it is. Where's my army at? Oh, here they are. Goodness gracious. They're all over the place. Got so many rebels. So many dang rebels. All right. Rebel scum. Hey, hey this is what I was talking about. So I want to keep uh, this guy. Go ahead and keep the discipline guy. But uh, yeah, basically, if you click this button, you fire who you want to keep and you get the mana. Um, and we'll go with like a uh, prestige guy and we'll, we'll keep our tax guy because, you know, he's half off and or trade efficiency rather. And trade efficiency is just really cool in general. So then get these guys down here. 
And we'll have these guys come down this way. And it looks like we're mostly done with rebels. There's going to be some Zaporozhian rebels, but they're handled. Very good. Not quite the plan. And Austria has declared war on me again. And the Pope said nay. Really? Okay, man. Austria being an absolute bastard. Yeah, I guess that's what I get. I mean, I'm diplomatically isolated, so I can't be too, fl too fussed about it. But still, it's just annoying more than anything. Where is my navy? Why is my navy over here, bro? What are you guys doing over here? I have absolutely no idea what is going on right now. <laughs> this is fine. Here we go. Obviously, we're going to have to uh, defend ourselves again. Is it the same province? Yep, it is. Damn, I should have built a fort on that province. It's fine. If they get off of it, the fort in Shemeshil will uh, cover it up, so it's all good. I do now. This time, obviously, we are in a much better spot. So let's see here. Combat width is what? What is the combat width? Um, 27 still. So our fort line should keep them. No, we don't have a fort down here. That is unfortunate. Let's build. Let's get started on a fort down here. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. Let's have these guys head down this way. Now, let's take a look here. We have 20. So let's get a few more cannons. That way we'll have a full back row of cannons. And then um, get a couple more cav as well. Because our cav are legendary. And some more infantry. And the rest will just be dedicated to... Uh, you know, to handling... Handling... Um, reinforcements. Obviously, we need to handle this. Oh, there's so many of them. There are so freaking many of them, man. Very annoying. We're going to end up having no rebels at the moment, which is nice. All right. Let's get you guys down here. We've got our defensive edict in all three of these states. Very good. Yeah, we're just going to have to um, gang up on them and, and, and try to uh, make the best of this while continuing to micro the, the uh, conversions and whatnot. Oh, you got to be kidding me, bro. What a joke. It's fine. So let's see here. I'm going to barrage that and push this down here. Now let's see. So they can just walk right out. Okay. Uh-huh. I didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, let's not do that. Yeah, we don't need those, Kev. Okay. Let's head on down here. We definitely win this fight. <laughs> I am very confident of that. Oh, what? Hold on a minute. Their morale is pretty good. We've got a discipline guy, though. Is it just that minus one? Yeah, it looks like it's just that minus one. All right. No, no, no. They were taking much heavier casualties than we were. Okay, very good. Uh, we don't want to lose any forts if we can avoid it. Avoid it. So these guys are going to get a couple months of... Re oh, you've got to be kidding me, bro. They're just going to take everything. All right. We'll win this fort real quick. No problem. And... Uh, Hopefully they don't take the 21. They did not. Very good. We will take this one on this next tick then. Okay. Very good. These guys are now stuck in here. This 14 stack. Very good. Shift consolidate. So this one will be an absolute clapping. And I will actually send my extra artillery in as well to make sure that we are getting the ultimate back row challenge. Okay. They are overstacking crazy strong. What the frick is this? Holy smokes. Oh, we got some rebels like you do. It's all right. We'll figure it out eventually. That is 110,000 men in one siege. And it looks like these guys actually went past... Hmm. Uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is just as God intended. So this um, infantry stack here... Oh, no. There's a lot of artillery as well. Oh, right, right, right. What am I doing? Okay, hold on a minute. We're going to have to redo this. I wish you could edit these guys. I wish you could. Sadly, you cannot. All right, let's go with 30 or 27, I guess. And let's go with 12. 12? Do we have enough? Yeah, we have 12. Let's go with 14 and uh, 20. And then we'll get rid of this first one. So this is going to be a nice battle stack. All that cav is going to be uh, putting in that work. So we'll detach you guys. Let's head down here. Shift consolidate with our weakened army because for some reason you can't uh, detach damage or what the f 
There is no way that I should be taking as many losses as I am in these fights. What in the world, dude? AI dang freaking cheating, bro. They're cheating. It's fine, though. I mean, look at the losses they're taking. Double. Over double. I've taken 33. They are ta they've taken 70. So why did you dishonor that, dude? It's kind of annoying, to be honest with you. 78. Yep, there you go. So then you do a quick little switcheroo here. We get onto that fort, and uh, before the monthly tick, and now we take it back instantly, and they will just lose it again. I should have probably built some ramparts here. Oh, my gosh. You guys are pissing me off, dude. Absolute bastards. Yeah, they're going to go in and wipe out that little stack there. Oh, my gosh. I am so annoyed. <laughs> All right, let's just take this back now. We need this. Okay, very good. Important fort. Definitely an important fort. We need to keep, keep that. We also need to make sure that we are not losing too much manpower to attrition and whatnot. 7%. Yeah, these guys are on a siege over there, a fort over there. Let's give these guys at least one more repair tick here. Let's get a, make sure you got your best general on there for maneuver. Gives you extra. All oh, right. Never mind. There's a max of 100. That makes sense. All right. So let's detach the busted up regiments. Have them head out. I don't know if I win this, to be honest with you. Good general, though. Good cav. So let's see here. We are uh, going to be flanking them, hopefully. As soon as we can bust through. Their casualties are super heavy compared to us. Uh, it's close. They're shattering, but we're shattering as well. Yeah, my morale just can't. I didn't have enough morale. That's fine. They took super heavy losses, so it's totally fine. And our conversions are super fast as well, which is great. All right, this is woods, so we just need a couple of months of reinforcements, and we should be able to get these guys off of that. Well, I say a couple of months. 42. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. These bastards, dude. Hold on for a couple of days. There you go. Thank you. All right, let's get down here, take this one back, get these guys behind a fort, for God, for God's sakes. Quit it. Look at them chasing me. These sons of guns. All right, let's win this siege back. We need to get these guys off of these forts. Why are they like... They just have so much cannons. It's really hard to uh, push them back, you know? So, yeah, they're just flooding men in. They're taking well over double my losses, and it's like... Why? I don't know. All right, let's take out a loan or two. Repay these smaller loans. Yeah. Gonna do some Florionomics here. Taking out some big old loans. And then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna take out or go indebted to the burgers. And repay these big, uh, chunky 4% loans. And just like that, we have more money with less interest than we did before. Our uh, reinforcements are what's costing us a ton of money. But, you know, what are you gonna do? What can you do even? Just need to take this back. All right. Scorch's province here. Right. Let's uh, make sure we are definitely taking these small little fights like that. Like, that is important that we do that. Okay. Uh, yearly devotion is fine, I guess. Whatever. Uh, go with the foreign noble. 431 Heinrich. All right. So 40%. Yeah, okay. Let's get these guys off of here if we can. Okay. They actually gave up on it, which is great because... I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to scorch a couple of provinces. Uh, we got our repair tick, so let's go ahead and shift consolidate, head in. This should be a win, and I'll actually be able to sort you out as well. Put an extra couple thousand men in the front lines there. We are absolutely just struggling. I don't understand how they're winning these battles. There is no way at all. They are taking super heavy casualties. I have... Holy smokes. This is so stupid. Oh my gosh. Do they have Miltech on me? They do. Okay. Well, that would explain a little bit of it. Infantry fire. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. We uh, now have no mind power left, which is unfortunate. It's fine. Now we've got some. <laughs> Just need to um, try to catch out some of these smaller armies. Uh-huh. I'd rather gain, gain it than lose it. 
All right, let's uh, let's do a little shuffling over here. I think Posen, we just have to give it up. Lost Sweden's in this war. You sons of bitches! I didn't even see him. <sighs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I did not even see them in this fight in this war. <laughs> I'm sure people were like screaming it up there. Wait, I didn't core this yet. Holy smokes, dude. This war. Yeah, I didn't even see them. Meanwhile, Austria is losing crazy amounts of men. Just, you know, chilling, just suck it, soaking it up. All right, protect our innovativeness. Next idea group. Let's see here. It's going to have to either be admin, at, admin or religious, one of the two. We do seem to be getting quite a few um, cores and whatnot, so or claims and stuff, so maybe it would be better. Let's see here. B, detach, banged up regiments. I really wish there was a detached, empty and damaged regiments button. Paradox, please. Would be really nice. Get you guys out of there. Innovativeness, please. There you go. Take your attrition like little idiots. Need to catch out as many of these stacks as possible. They are going to overstack over here as well. Very good. Okay. I guess if they want to overstack for a few, they can do that. Their attrition is, is through the roof. I, I don't understand why they're taking so much attrition. Let's see here. Convert the land. Give us tolerance of the true faith and yearly papal influence for 100 years. Wow. That is uh, significant. Yeah, I definitely need to be coring this stuff up. What am I doing? <laughs> that overextension is not helping me. Rage. Rage against it. The dying of the light. We lose morale and discipline. Cool, man. Cool. Thank you. Very cool paradox. <laughs> All right. Get these guys off here. We'll have to branch back here. Austria is absolutely just like destroying themselves. I don't know why they're doing this. Okay. That's a stack wipe for that army. Oh. Yeah, we're losing other sieges over here. They still haven't taken the war goal, which is hilarious. They got off Jamishil right there. Okay. This is Grasslands. So it's not a good fight for... I did not mean to take this fight here. That was an accident. Feels bad, man. Didn't even see him there. Okay. Let's just let these boys recoup for a bit. Just so much grasslands over here. Not helpful. All right. Um. Yeah, let's take this. Upgrade our cav. Better cav is going to be a big deal for us, right? Let these guys refill. It looks bad, but honestly, I think we're fine. I really do. I think we're fine. Um, as long as we can eventually piece them out, that's all that really matters. Um, I will go ahead. Let's get an Admiral on you. Let's have you guys. You're already upgraded. Eh, could use a little bit of upgrade, huh? <laughs> all right. Let's take out a loan. Get you guys upgraded. Mostly galleys. So, yeah, probably important because uh, we're going to need to beat some decently strong guys over here. All right. So let's have you guys take an attrition tick to assert your dominance. Detach the uh, the regiments we don't need. And let's head on over here. Don't need to shift consolidate. Should be an absolute clap. Very good. Scorch it. Sweden is like getting on my nerves. But once we piece Sweden out, they'll actually give us back all these occupations, which is really nice. Did I scorch this? I did. Nice. So we'll head in here. I will shift consolidate this one. And that is an absolute win for us. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ah. <sighs> feels so good. That feels really good. Okay. Uh, so these guys are heading down into Brest, which is a marsh. So I don't want to be playing with that. But, like, if you can see an army like this, these guys right here, with no general, this is like... No general on farmlands. This is, a. Uh, Best case scenario for us. We want to get there on the second. Re reinforce on the first. Here you go. Banish the nonconformists, huh? It's fine. I'll fight those rebels. 
032. Sadly, man, that discipline hit that I took is like really, really painful on us. Like that's causing us to take so many more losses than we otherwise would. Okay. 300,000 men they've lost, but they're, you know, they're still, they're still going for it, you know? Uh, yeah, we're going to have to siege back our forts. I bet their manpower is like gone though. Yep. <laughs> so I don't feel as bad about mine being gone as well. You guys going to come up here again? Probably. Yep. <laughs> Are they? Oh, dang it. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh-huh. 61,000 men walking through here. All right, dudes. Doesn't seem intelligent, honestly. These boys are almost reinforced. Let's have them um, hunt enemy hunt enemy fleets in the Baltic whenever they are repaired up. This is... How in the world? I am going to... Do a quick little drive through here. Where we are going to scorch a bunch of provinces. Basically prevent them from reinforcing. That's the goal at least. Shift consolidate. Have these guys march in at a at a delay. They are going to reinforce, which is absolutely tragic. They are taking so many losses, but they're gonna win just because they're flooding men in. Oh, it's so not fair. This is so not fair. How do you lose this war? Like, how am I losing? You know? <sighs> like, what can I do? What can I do for real? <laughs> there is not counterplay to this. My goodness. All right. Got our discipline advisor, too. Let me see here. Do I have this guy? I do. Yeah, I have all these papal modifiers. I need to get over there and take this bag as soon as they get off that fort. Uh, I guess. What's a little bit more debt, you know? Take Narva. Defensiveness, please. Defensiveness, please. Protect this forts. <laughs> oh, man. Here's my navy over here, though, putting in that work on the Swedish navy. Yo, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to sink their ships. That's good. That's really good for us. Thanks. Austria likes me a little bit more. Feels good, man. Good thing that we have good friends like Austria, right? Okay, this is actually perfect. They are... They are split. Remember, this is all scorched, so they're going to be slow to reinforce. I don't know about, like... They'll probably still be able to. Oh, no, they decided not to. Lost cause. Ah, good, 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 good. Let's, um... So these guys are heading into Garten. They'll be there on the 21st. I'll be there on the 20th. Ah, they decided against it. Feels bad, man. Sixty-four percent. What are the chances? <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. All right, cool. So that means I'm gonna be able to head in here, beat the tar out of these Swedes. Sorty. There we go. Big losses for the Swedes. Awesome. Let's head down here. What's my uh? War exhaustion is like super reasonable, actually. We just keep buying it down as well, so that way we can keep our manpower. Recovery reasonable, right? We just need to keep our boys, like, reinforcing. That's the major thing. Shemishul should not be able... It should not fall. We, we really can't afford to let this fort fall. Because this is what's protecting this Noisandek or whatever. Uh, I'll take the prestige. Trade efficiency. Level 1 is fine for now. We don't really have the money to do anything else then. Let's um, head in here. 14%. They didn't get it, which is great. We're actually having some... I don't want to say good luck because... Oh, 28%. Oh, they didn't win it. Nice. So it's a minus one fight for them. Johan Leopold. Nice. Let's get over here. Get you guys off my forts. 
Do I see rebels popping up somewhere? I know where I see. Oh, they didn't win that one either. I'm actually... As mad as I get about them dogpiling and stuff like that, we are... That was a stack wipe. Oh, great. They're now on low enthusiasm after a very, very dank 420,000 losses. 313 for the Emperor. They've attacked me twice. By the way, they've attacked me. They attacked me. I don't feel bad about it. Um, And now is actually funny because I guarantee you the League War is going to pop off very soon here. Uh, Who is who is the uh, the dude? Who's, who's the uh, bad guy? Britain, the leader of the Protestant League. You reckon it will fire? I kind of don't, actually. No. Muscovy joined. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Well, I am going to do the same thing we did last time, where now that we have ground them down to a pulp, we are going to attack them. Now, can I embrace this institution? Shoot, man. All right. We are going to dominate as many fights as we possibly can. That is a stack wipe. We just need to literally grind these guys down to a pulp. That That's all. That's it. That's really it. So these guys have a... Strong front line. Yeah, I don't think we're going to catch them. That's fine. We do need to find out, find these smaller stacks and wipe them out. It's important. Yes. Perfect. Right here. This is a good one. These fights right there. This, this is, this is the death blow for them. Because once we start wiping out their smaller stacks, that's when things get, um, you know, these losses are not sustainable for them at all. We're going to need to work our way over and siege down. Um, oh, I did not mean to do that. Ugh. Bad fight, bad fight, bad fight. We need to get over here and start sieging down Vienna. These losses are... What the heck? They must, they're taking like no losses right there. Okay, this is good. Now we need to siege back our provinces. Very carefully, of course. These forts that they've occupied from me are painful. Very painful. We've got a wall, wall breach here, which is nice. I have like no infantry, dude. Look at this. This is all artillery. This is stack is just all artillery. Yeah. <laughs> Sweden, how you doing? Is Sweden on low enthusiasm yet? They're actually kind of close. If I can white piece Sweden and uh, get onto Vienna and siege them down. If I siege this fort, I can actually march on Vienna. So funny. Some rebels where? Manic? Manic? Oh, yikes. All right. I can march right onto Vienna, which is great. Let's just scorch that fort there. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. <laughs> we're just going to sprint free Vienna, siege them down. They have no forts on the interior parts of their land, so actually, what I'm going to do here... Oof. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I knew they were coming for me. And uh, we are going to devastate the absolute crap out of these guys to the best of our abilities. It's going to be really important here. So we're going to siege Vienna. Very good. And we're going to get these guys down. Basically, in every province that you can get to that is not touching... Um... A fort. You can see all the forts. None of those forts touch these provinces. So what we're going to do is we're going to devastate the crap out of these provinces. As well as um, loot them. And what that... Or scorch them as well as loot them. And what that does is that gives a ton of devastation in these provinces. Which essentially means they're not going to get prosperity for a very, very long time. Which is exactly the way we want it to be. Plus it makes the provinces pretty worthless in general when you scorch them. I don't really want them to take that province if I can avoid it. Because if uh, if they don't have a fort touching it, it's going to be really slow to um, get the uh, prosperity back. Alright, very good. We do a few more over here. But yeah, like you can see, they probably have some prosperity over here. Yeah. Like these provinces here, it's going to be a, a, at least a few years before they can even tick back up. Which is really good for us. Now, we need um, more reps, of course. And I'd like some money. How much debt do I have? 5,000? You bastards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
<sighs> it's fine. Integration is a slow process. All right, we'll take whatever money we can get here. Very good. They're also giving us war reps, which is going to be useful. We will repay as many of these expensive loans as possible. And as our boys get more reinforced, we'll be in a better spot. So let's go back up to speed five here for a bit. Let's uh, rival Great Britain, I guess. Pour up everything we can. And how is my religious unity not over 90 yet? What the heck? A lot of those provinces were actually um, basically cock-blocked by uh, getting getting occupied by those boys. We just need to build up to our force limit. That's the reason why I'm getting attacked. It's kind of my own fault, if I'm being honest. I can't really be too upset about it. But yeah, these conversions, once we finish these up, we get over 90. We'll be in a better spot now. Uh-huh. I shouldn't have repaid those loans. I should have done this first. That way I could take this. That way I could take this. I don't know if we need to go religious. I think I'd rather go admin. The admin mana will save us from CCR is going to be massive. It's going to be massive. So we're going to do that. And uh, yes, definitely a long episode. <laughs> Safe to say. Uh, boys, this was a tough one. Uh, another war with Austria, of course, because why wouldn't we? But uh, we won, so I'm okay with it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, I would ask that you would leave a like on the video and uh, show your support, right? If you haven't already subscribed, you definitely are missing out if you are not subscribed. Because there's a ton of content I put out on a regular basis. And uh, if you like EU4 and you want to see more, make sure that you like the video. If you want to um, support me, you'll get early access to my uh, Chubert vids on my Patreon. If you uh, pledge as little as $5 per month. And if you want to um, join my Discord, my subreddit, or my Twitter, they're all linked in the description below my videos. And uh, that is all I've got for you for today. So this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.